Practice and homework lesson 3.7. Estimate decimal sums and differences. Use rounding to estimate. Number one, 5.38 plus 6.14. Well, we round 5.38, that's going to round to 5. And 6.14, it's going to round to 6. Now, if we add 5 plus 6, that's going to give us 11. Number two. 2.57 is going to round to 3. 0 0.14 is going to round to 0. 3 plus 0 is just 3. Number 3. 10.39 is going to round to just 10. And 4.28 is going to round to just 4. And 10 minus 4 is about 6. Number 4. 7.92 rounds to 8. 5.37 rounds to 5. Now we add 8 plus 5, and that's going to give us 13. 13. Use benchmarks to estimate. Number 5. 2.81 plus 3.72. Well, we know that on a number line, 2.81 is very, very close to 3. And 3.72 is really, really close to 4. So, 3 plus 4 is just 7. Number 6, 12.54 plus 7.98. When we look at a number line, 12.54 is really close to 13. And 7.98 is also really close to 8. And so we have 13 plus 8. Well, 8 plus 3 is 11. Carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So our answer is 21. Number 7. 6.34 plus 3.95. On a number line, if you look at 6.34, 6.34 is really close to 6, and 3.95 is really close to 4 on the number line. So 6 plus 4 is 10. 16.18 minus 5.94. Well, 16.18 on the number line is really close to 16. 5.94 is really close to 6 on the number line. So we subtract those. 16 minus 6 is 10. Problem solving. Real world. Number 9. Elliot bought 1.87 pounds of chicken. 1.87 pounds of chicken and 2.46 pounds of turkey at the deli. About how many pounds of meat did he buy? How many pounds of meat? Well, 1.87 is really close to 2. It rounds to 2. 2.46, that rounds down to 2. When we add 2 plus 2, that's just 4. So we bought about 4 pounds of meat. About 4 pounds of meat. Number 10, Jenna bought a gallon of milk at the store for $3.58. About how much change did she receive from a $20 bill? Well, 3.58, that is going to round to about 4. And if we're, if we're looking for how much change she received, we're going to take 20 and we're going to subtract by 4. Well, you we can't subtract 0 from 4, so you got to regroup the 1. This becomes 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 1 minus nothing is 1. So we got 16 dollars of change. Sixteen dollars, about. Explain why estimation is an important skill to know when adding and subtracting decimals. Well, when adding and subtracting decimals, using estimation, we get a good idea of what the answer is going to be. So we write that out. Using estimation allows us to get a good idea of what the answer actually is. Lesson check. <clears throat> Regina has two electronic files. 
one has a size of 3.15 megabytes and the other has a size of 4.89 megabytes. What is the best estimate of the total size of the two electronic files? So 3.15, well that's just going to round to 3. And 4.89, that's going to round to about 5. So 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So it's about 8 megabytes. Number two, Madison is training for a marathon. Her goal is to run 2.62 miles a day. She currently can run 18.5 miles in a day. About how many more miles does she need to run in a day to meet her goal? Well, 26.2 just rounds to 26. And 18.5 rounds to about 19. So we subtract those. We can't subtract 6 from 9, so we got to regroup the 2, turn it into 1, then this becomes a 16. 16 minus 9 is 7, and 1 minus 1 is just 0. So she needs to run about 7 more miles to meet her goal. Spiral review. A machine prints 8 banners in 120 seconds. How many seconds does it take to print 1 banner? So if 8 banners in 120 seconds, and we're looking for how much it takes for one banner, to print one banner, we're just going to divide 120 by 8. Well, how many times does 8 fit into 1? 0. How many times does 8 fit into 12? Well, it only fits into 12 one time. So we do 12 minus 8. That's 4. We have to drop down to 0. And how many times 8 fit into 40? Well, that's 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So it takes about 15 seconds to print one banner. To print one banner. Number 4. To what place value is the number rounded? 5.319 to 5.3. When we look at the rounded number, which is this one, we see that it only has numbers up to the tenths place. The tenths place. So we know that it was rounded to the tenths place because there aren't any more numbers. And if we round this number to the left, the unrounded number, to the tenths place, well, we know when we're rounding to the tenths place, we got to look at the hundredths place, and it's a one. And one is less than five, so this would turn in to five point. Three, which is what our rounded number is. So the place value the number is rounded to is the tenths place. It's the tenths place. Number five, the average distance from Mars to the Sun is about 141,620,000 miles. How is this distance written in standard form? Well, first, we got to underline what we're looking at. 141,620,000 miles. So, 141. Let's write that. 141. And this is in the millions place. 141 million. Next is 620,000. 620. 620. Like that. And so this is in the thousands place. So we're missing the hundreds, tens, and ones. So we're going to put zeros for those. And this is what our number looks like. This is in standard form. 141,620,000 miles. That. Number six. Logan ate 1.438 pounds of grapes. His brother Ralph ate 1.44 pounds of grapes. Which brother ate more grapes? Well, Logan, looking which brother ate the most grapes? Who ate more? So look at the ones place for both of these numbers. They're both the same. The tens place are both the same. And the hundreds place is where it's different. Who has the greater hundreds place? 
Well, Ralph does. Ralph has a hundredth place of four, and Logan has a hundredth place of three. And we know that four is greater. So Ralph, Ralph ate the most grapes.